Hey, what's up? Another edition of Chasing Sports, and this time I'm going to talk about the Buffalo Sabres and Jack Eichel saga. Might as well call it a saga because um, it took me a while to like think of what I was going to say because you have a superstar versus a team that's in disarray almost uh, for after 10 years, and after it really started, you know, the, the tank and that, um, Lose, especially after firing the longest ter tenure head coach and and uh, Lindy Ruff. My thing of the, it is this: the the, the Bagulas are doing way too much with the hockey team. The, the firing of coaches every two years, with the change, basically changing the guard, firing general managers. You know, you don't have time to grow as a hockey team if you're going to switch coaches and um, switch GMs every two years or, you know, or every so often. The con Now, you look at back in the day with the Sabres, when Lindy Ruff was the head coach, they didn't miss out by the, by the playoffs that much. But then you have Eichel's doctor versus the team doctors. Again, you're allowed to get a second opinion if you need surgery. For me, I think Eichel has every right to say he knows his body. He could have surgery. Where the Buffalo Sabres, personally, I don't know. I I, I just think that that the the how, how can I put it lightly? I think that really need what the, the Sabres need to do. Is sit down and talk to Eichel, you know that, and the surgery that he wants, he's never had. They're worried. I understand that, but sit down and talk. And if I'm the Sabers, I, I mean, you want your the disconnect is between the the Sabers franchise and the fans. If you want fans in the stands, you got to do everything in your power to make your superstar, your captain, happy. That's my opinion. Yes, the body language of Eichel sometimes bothers and robs people the wrong way but again the losing the losing the losing culture does not help things does not help players be happy in buffalo you could give them anything they want in the locker room or do whatever and it still doesn't make anybody happy when they're losing um so if i'm the sabers i try to fix it with like oh, before you think about trading him because I think the Sabres fans will be unhappy if you do trade him. And if you do trade him, you better hope you're getting a lot in return. So that is a look at the Buffalo Sabres and Jack Eichel saga.